Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and here we go. I'm going to check in with XRPLHQ.com on the uh, market prices here. You got, uh, if you look at XRP, this is what I wanted to show you. The last 24 hours, 64% to Bitcoin's 2%. 67% um, in the last seven days to Bitcoin's 2.98%. And that is the fact, Jack. What is it? What happens if you click here? Show stats. Ah, cool. Look at this. Market capitalization 1.2 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin market cap dominance 46%. I expect this to go down. Don't forget about the XRP rich list and the XRP calculator. That's going to come more in handy, I think, in the coming days and months. Check this out, Egrag Crypto. Uh, we may as well see what he's saying right now with all this going on. Join me in exploring the, the Valhalla Gateway. Join me exploring the incredible chart below, which beautifully demonstrates the journey we've embarked upon. Take a moment to grasp its significance. Um, in, in essence, if we maintain monthly close above 80 cents, we will we'll pave our way to the magnificent Valhalla Gateway. And once we enter this gateway, we'll find ourselves in the awe-inspiring Valhalla City. <laughs> I love all this. Um, Valhalla Gateway, and I'm assuming that $26 is the entrance to Valhalla City. <laughs> That's a trip. There's one guy that called what just happened. His name is Craig DeWitt X Rippler. I mean, SEC gets their ass kicked in the Ripple case. Absolutely get their ass kicked in the Ripple case. But the ruling comes out in such a way that XRP is alone cleared as a non-security in the United States. Meaning that with all the other stuff that the SEC is pulling, suing exchanges, suing other coins, are going to sue some big ones as well, that only BTC and XRP have legal clarity in the United States for a two year period. Ah, so listen to that. That's what he said a few days before. Now check this out because one result of the lawsuit that could be interesting is this. This guy, first of all, here's what the official cool guy said. What's up fam? Game How does it feel? I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. XRP, the only digital asset with legal clarity. The maxis will tell you that the judge didn't rule on it, but I say to them, great, because then it's not appealable. You got Tom Emmer saying, we now know that a token is different than a security. We got Elder Rody saying, XRP has legal clarity as a matter of law. Then the maxis will get mad at Ripple if they settle. Well, too bad, we're moving forward. Proud of you all. And if you learn one thing from this, trust your damn intuition. That's right. This guy has an interesting comment. If you put the Ethereum Foundation through the exact same trial, a lot of people would be going to jail. Ooh, ooh. Then this guy in this thread, he says, finally, this does not clear the path for the Ethereum Foundation, even if it's upheld. Remember, these institutional buyers that the court found purchased unregistered securities, the pre-sale of Ethereum was a lot like that. Why? And the, Here's what I'm thinking this morning. Who needs a Bitcoin ETF, ETF when you can have an XRP ETF? And I copied BlackRock, Fidelity Digital Assets, and Grayscale. And then um, Larry Fink from BlackRock was on CNBC this morning. He sure does seem a little giddy about crypto this morning. More and more our global investors are asking us about the role of crypto. And as I said, I do believe a lot of crypto is is going to be. It's an international asset. It's going. It is. Um, it has a differentiating value versus other asset classes. But more importantly, because it's so international, it's going to transcend any one currency in currency valuation. If you just look at the value of of our dollar, how it, de it depreciated last two 
two months and how much it appreciated over the last five years. I mean, a international crypto product can really transcend that. And that's why we believe there's great opportunities. And that's why we're seeing more and more interest. And that interest is broad-based worldwide. That all of a sudden, he just happens to be seeing worldwide interest. John Deaton says the two biggest names uh, to happen to crypto, the Ripple decision and, the Larry, and Larry Fink and BlackRock joining the crypto bandwagon. Very difficult for Gary Gensler and Elizabeth Warren to call their donors fraudsters, scammers, hucksters, tax cheats, and money launderers. They're on the wrong side of history here, here folks. Now, Linda P. Jones has an interesting thing to say here because this is what this is where your eyes need to be. This is the ball. With the lawsuit over, I imagine the VCs will quickly value Ripple's market capitalization higher than the current $15 billion. Also, I expect many announcements will be made by Ripple about customer relationships gained during the last 2.5 years. And she also says Ripple shares on Link2 are currently up 16% since Tuesday, but still down roughly 29% from its all-time high on the Link2 market. And um, I said, get ready to watch those Ripple NDAs go bye-bye. Does anybody remember the Kendra Hill who disappeared off of social media, who said that Ripple had a partnership with Amazon that was years in the making? What if? Because she also said that Amazon owned 5 billion XRP. It'll be interesting to see if any of that is true. Do you also remember this from Anders L? Bank of America to partner with Ripple. This is from uh, November of 22. Um, Bank of America to partner with Ripple for ODL services after XRP lawsuit. This guy says, is, it, is this still an option when the institutional sales has been determined as securities? And uh, he says, ODL customers could just source XRP from exchanges instead of Ripple. That's what David Schwartz had replied here. Folks, all aboard, folks. I think this might be the last stop for anybody that wants to own any, any Ripple private equity. It's, I checked again. There's, there's a bunch of it sitting on the, on the Link2 platform. But don't hold your breath for more than a couple of days here. Stuart Alderati, PSA for other crypto defendants. Check out footnote 20, where the court makes it clear that the SEC's theories, other than to institutional sales, are potentially very much subject to fair notice defense. And here's the uh, note. Because the court finds that only institutional sales constituted the offer and sale of investment contracts, the court does not address defendants' asserted fair notice defense as to other transactions and schemes. The court's holding is limited to institutional sales because the SEC's theories as to the other sales in this case are potentially inconsistent with its enforcement in prior digital asset cases. Stuart Alderati, I'm sure, deserves a medal and will get one in, on this whole thing. Look at it. CNBC all of a sudden wants to cover Ripple. Ripple Lab scores win an SEC case over XRP token. If you remember, that is the same woman who was sitting beside Mike Novogratz a few years ago, I think around 2018. And she said, and Mike Novogratz was talking about, hey, just doesn't get the XRP thing. And she was like, oh, you don't get it either. Almost like they were just in sync to sell it that way. But now they get it. And so does Jim Cramer. Here's Jim Cramer from 12-8-2022. And I told him he ought to change his name to Clownmer. Put up XRP and Solana and Dogecoin. Those are all, I believe, cons. Yeah. I mean, if we think that the XRP uh, slash USD coin is something that we should be following, well, I mean, we should be following just, we should put up like Rent the Runway and Stitch Fix up there. I mean, I, you know, honestly. Oh, there's some cons out there, but it's not XRP. Tyler Winklevoss, this you watch. These jokers are about to make their big, their biggest business decision of all time. They're going to make the greatest PR move in their history, and that includes being in the social network movie about Facebook. This will be their biggest PR move ever to list XRP, not relist because they never did list it. 
Despite the SEC attempt at Soviet-style PR spin on taking a huge L, in the Ripple case yesterday, the mainstream media isn't buying any of their propaganda. And they're talking to Gary. This is Wall Street Journal. Ripple ruling deals a blow to SEC's effort to regulate crypto. Judge's decision is a boost for other crypto firms that claim regulators have too aggressively policed market. Crypto industry secures early victory in legal battle with regulators. A judge ruled that the sale of XR of the cryptocurrency XRP on public exchanges did not violate securities laws. Then there's this. Sam Lyman from Forbes. Hard to put into words how hugely consequential the Ripple decision is for the entire crypto industry, but it, I try in my latest Forbes crypto TLDR vindication for XRP is just the start. The ripple becomes a wave. Why XRP's victory lifts all boats. Then Chad Steingrabber is reminding us six days, FedNow goes live on July 20th. Just so happens that Ripple won the SEC lawsuit on day 13, seven days before FedNow, the magic day. Will be known in XRP history as Atomic Settlement Day, the day we look back and witness the birth of utility. And finally, I want to show you this. This is last night from the official cool guy, Mr. Intuitive. He did a Twitter Spaces, and this is the class, a classic clip where Freddie Riz jumps in there with a great, great line here. The floor is yours, baby. What happened today with the SEC versus the Ripple case? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I was incredibly happy at the beginning. Now I've read through the whole opinion, digested it. And, you know, unfortunately, it's not the greatest. It's actually terrible news for every other crypto not named XRP, baby. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh man, now it's uh, ready, you dog. And they said lawyers are boring. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta keep the momentum going because I am like a lot of everybody else here. I it's only four thirty, four forty where I am, but I'm feeling uh, some of that adrenaline run out. But that's great. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family to give a shout out to Freddie Riz. That was a great clip there. Thanks for listening.